Adding a property to RGPM. Add staff. First, you have to sign into your account. Remember to put your username and password into memory so you don't have to type it in every time you log in. First, we have to add a property manager into the system before we can upload a property because the system will ask you to assign the property to a manager. We click RGPM to open the drop down menu and select Add Staff. Here, we enter all the staff details. By doing this, we are also creating an individual login account for this staff member. The system will email and SMS the staff member and generate them a default username and password, which they can personalize once they log into their account. If any of the information or profile pictures requires changing, the staff member can adjust this information once their account has been created. The principal of the agency can adjust all the information the staff can see, including accounts on a staff member by staff member basis, pending their position within the office. You can select an image for your staff members, which is useful on their account and live chat. Remember, each staff member can use live chat as a daily tool to communicate with other staff, landlords, tenants, contractors, and the Realty Guru admin team. To finalize creating the staff account, make sure you click Save at the bottom, Add Property. Once we have created our staff account, we go back to the side toolbar under RGPM and click Add Property. Here, we have several subheadings on the property, tenant, landlord, and other specific information, which will be viewable on the property dashboard once completed. Once we have filled in add property and property details, we have to select a property manager to assign this property to. This information can be changed from the dashboard at some later point if a new property manager will be taking over the management of the property. When entering the landlord, you have the option of either creating a new landlord or using an existing landlord who has multiple investment properties. If you are using an existing landlord, you will receive a drop down select menu of your landlords to choose from. This way, you don't have to enter the landlord's details again. All red fields are mandatory and must have an entry put in them. If they are not highlighted red, they are optional. Notice on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you have live chat support, where you can communicate with our admin team at any time should you have any questions. They are available 8am to 8pm Eastern Standard Time. Also, please feel free to click our Facebook page icon on the left and give us a like. At the bottom of the Add Landlord is the Add Tenant tick box. If the property is vacant, leave this blank. You can always add tenants later from the dashboard after the property has been entered. When adding tenants, select how many registered tenants are living at the property. If you have all their details, you can add them here one at a time, including all their contact details. Tenant number one will be the primary tenant, which the rent will be offset against and the main point of contact. All system emails and SMSs will go to this person or persons. Example, if it's a couple, etc. The other tenants would be considered by the system as sub-tenants. This information can all be adjusted on the dashboard should circumstances change. We also add the lease start date and end date, deposit and amount of the rent and the payment period. The system works off a calendar. 
and will input the payments onto the accounts in date descending order offset against charges. Example, maintenance and fees and provide a running balance viewable on the dashboard, balance sheet and statement. Once you add a tenant and landlord, the system also creates an account for them, similar to add staff. However, the tenant and landlord has limited default access to what they can view, and this is adjustable in RGPM user settings in the left-hand side toolbar. The tenants can take pictures and book maintenance jobs through their login or the app. We have gotten rid of work order sheets. All the agent has to do is select a contractor and click submit. Agents can use any of our existing contractors or send an invite to their preferred tradesman. At the bottom, we have add property pictures where you can upload up to 10 pictures of the property to the dashboard, which will be useful for our advertising feature, both for rentals and sales, once the property is back on the market. To add more than one picture, just keep clicking the browse button and selecting a picture file. The system automatically uploads each selected file one at a time. These images can be edited or deleted from the dashboard once we have completed the add property process. Our system is an A to Z fully functioning 100% free property management platform which does everything a real estate or strata office requires. Once we have completed add property, click the green highlighted dashboard option in the left hand side toolbar which provides a list of all properties. Click on the selected property to open the dashboard. This is the actual dashboard where all information can be accessed and edited. Most of all desktop work will be done from here. This displays property information, pictures, assigned staff information, landlord information, vendor or tenant information, property management expenses, one-off or reoccurring calendar-based expenses, rental and balance sheet details, copies of the lease documents and notes, post a maintenance job, diary, all types of inspections and running maintenance jobs.